Hey guys, welcome to the very, very first King of the Cappers duo show. When I'm sitting here, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. I'm sitting here with a guy that, if you in my comment section at all, you see his, you see his soccer picks, and he showed last week that he can uh, pick a few baseball games as well. He's already the capper of the week, and he's going for King of the Cappers as we go head to head in a underdog matchup. And I don't know, looking at tomorrow's card, I don't know what in, on earth possessed me to come up with that. But there it is. You know him, you love him. It's C-Dub. What's up, buddy? Hello, hello. How you doing tonight, Scott? I'm doing well. Doing well. Pretty excited for the uh, for the inaugural show. I couldn't think of a better guest. I know you've been in the comment section of my videos for a long time. How long have you been watching? Um, I don't know, but I know I've been watching videos with winners and whiners when Ben was posting picks. So it's been wow. a while. Wow, yeah. so it's, it's, been, it's been a minute. So it's good, yes. it's good to have you here. Um, I know we we talked a little bit before the show. I know, and I should have been able to pick up. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm looking at your shirt, and honestly, what was the first? What was the question I asked you? See, Dub, are are you in Pennsylvania? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what you asked. <laughs> right. So obviously, he's in Indiana. There in a, a fellow flyover country uh, inhabitant like myself. Now, here's what I'm here's what I'm curious about because I live in the Midwest. I never got bit by the soccer bug. I, I know from dealing with you in the past, and I sent I actually sent you an Arsenal an Arsenal jersey. What what possessed you to become a big fan of international soccer and Arsenal in particular? Um, I think it was just I mean, ever since I was young, I loved sports and I played sports and whatnot. And from just giving all sports a try, football, NFL, and football. Um, soccer right. just were the two that stood out. There were, those are my two sports that I enjoy, that I love to bet, and I just I love them. You know what I mean? So it wasn't anything in particular. Just out of having all the sports together, those were the two that just went to the cream of the crop. Outstanding. Did you play any sports growing up? Any like played through high school, college? Yeah, like I, I well not college, but I played in uh, school, high school, middle school, and all that. I played baseball. I played football. Um, and a little basketball too. So I was kind of sporty back then and then got away from that a little bit and turned to sports betting. Big man on campus is what you're telling us, right? No, no, average man on campus. <laughs> AMOC. Yeah. <laughs> very nice, very nice. All right, bud, well, it's a, uh, and I told you right before the show, I gave you the great news. Not only do you have the honor, of course, of doing the show with me, uh, put that on your resume, by the way. Um, yeah. But there is there is swag and is it, is it swag or swag? swag it's swag there's no there's no h in there okay yeah at least to my knowledge but you know the youngsters they change things up and add new words and new way of saying things so it could be down dude i was on the urban dictionary today. What was that? Oh, i was looking up based on the urban dictionary oh why like, can't you just say fat right <laughs> I, I, I don't know man i don't know there's like three different meanings for based and i'm like i can't yeah. I get it i'm too old for that so yep yep all right so very good um yeah, let's let's rock and roll. And the way this is going to work, we're going to both have an under. We're both going to pick an underdog on Tuesday's Major League Baseball card. Uh, whoever does the best, whoever has the most money at the end of the games, uh, will be well. You'll be the you'll be the king of all cappers. I will just I'll be like Bobby Flay. I'll just I'll just have retained the title of Bobby Flay. So um, not a, you don't have to send me a shirt or anything. No, no, <laughs> no schmediums no schme for me, brother. Um, but. Uh, if we have the same game, you're going to get to go first, and then I'm going to go. And if I have the same game that you do, I have to pick another game. So I'm going to have to scramble. You and I have not talked beforehand about what game we're taking. You you have you have posited a guess, and that guess is you and I will not match. You had like three or four you liked. You picked one, and you don't think we're going to match, correct? Yep, I, okay. I agree. Because I, I know I looked a little bit ago, and I've been looking for a while, and I didn't see a line for the A's. So... That was okay. when that kind of stood out. So I know you're not taking that one, but that nope. was one of the four that I liked. Okay. All right. Yep. Very good. Um, let me see if I – now, I've, I do have a line on the A's. I've got I've got uh, seven as a line, if that if, if you want one more chance to change horses. No. When, well, you said under, you said as a dog. So oh, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I was thinking not totals in my mind. Dude, dude I've, been, I've been in the total zone here for, for mm -hmm. this evening. Uh, plus 110 for Oakland. Yeah, no. So, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, buddy. The world awaits. <laughs> what are you going with? Um, I'm going tonight. I'm going to, or actually for tomorrow, I'm going to take Graham Ascroft and the Cincinnati Reds to take one more from the Marlins again tomorrow. If okay. Hunter Green 
can win tonight and hold him down. I don't see why Ashcraft should have a problem with that, especially after he did okay last game with them and Strickland came in and blew it. But before then, he was doing okay. I will say that was my silver medal pick. Okay. I, I don't ever mind fading the Marlins, and it's so frustrating because they're so good at pitching and so bad at everything else. They, they can't hit the ball. They can't score runs. They've fallen back. They tease me. They were decent for the first third of the season at scoring. You're like, oh, maybe they're going to – and they're, they're just exactly the same way that they've been mm-hmm. for the last three or four years. They can't score. I don't mind that at all. I've got it at plus 116. You got a better number than that? I had 115, so, yes, about okay. the same. Mm-hmm. 116, take your buck, buddy. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So, um, now the moment that we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Wanna, I'm going to take Tampa Bay plus 130. Is that the one you thought? And that it was between that was not the one I thought, but that I said he's either going to go with the Tigers or the Rays. And I looked at the Rays and I liked them with Rasmussen, but out of the last 10 games, they've won two, I think. They have not played, they've not been playing yeah. good ball. They're not scoring a lot. Um, I just, I just, uh, the, that Tigers team, uh, they scare me, <laughs> they scare me. Um, and against and Archer's one of those guys, he's the opposite. I talked a little bit last week about some of these pitchers I've jumped on and I've turned them to absolute crap the next time out. Um, and Archer is the opposite. Whenever I fade him, he seems to go out there and pitch like Cy Young. So mm-hmm. I, I dodged that one. I played the I played the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, like I said, Rasmussen's on the mound for Tampa Bay. Kevin Galsman going for Toronto. Kevin Galsman hasn't been great uh, the last part of the season over his last nine, 443 ERA, 130 whip. Jays, most importantly, they're not scoring a ton of runs for him. They're just two and seven in those starts. Uh, Rasmussen struggled most of the season, but it looks like he may have got figured out a little bit over the last five. 259 ERA. The Rays, four and one in those starts. Rays are the home team, plus 130. Like you said, the Rays, they've got their issues, and mainly those issues are scoring runs. They're uh, they're kind of they're kind of like the other team there in Florida that we talked about. Uh, the Rays aren't scoring a ton of runs either. They're kind of banged up, so. Taking them at plus one thirty, I think it's still I think it's still a good price. I think there's a little bit of value there. This is going to have to be a low scoring game. If you're if you're if you're interested in betting this game, I don't hate uh, taking Tampa Bay with the uh, with coupled with the under there for the same game parlay because I just I don't think Tampa Bay wins a shootout. I think if they win it, it's going to be a low scoring affair. So there you go. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, it's okay. I like it though. <laughs> if you put a gun to my head, that's who I'd pick. But when it comes to baseball, I'll gloss over games. I'd rather go with uh, quantity rather than quantity. Unlike soccer, <laughs> right? Man, you can you can put some plays up there. And I got to tell you, some of the most fun I ever had was when I was reading like everybody's winning plays and pronouncing some of those uh, like Norwegian and Swedish. You got a lot of umlauts and. Uh, a lot of vowels, a lot of like 17, 18, and I know that you had to be getting a chuckle as I would attempt. Yeah, to. I think the one that stands out, if memory serves me right, is Midgelin. Oh, yes. I, I, call, I call it Midgetland. <laughs> We're going to Midgetland, kids. Yeah. This team should be easy to beat on paper, I'm just saying. Uh, all right, very good, man. And have you had a profitable season? Has, was, was soccer good to you? I know the EPL kind of wrapped up. And somebody's always playing soccer, so I know you're. Still, I know you're still getting in there and thrashing around. Have you had a good year when it comes to betting footy? Usually, I do. Yeah, I mean, I I, I do okay. I do okay, and Very I'm doing good. really good in baseball lately. So uh, I'm loving it. Yeah, you had a, you had a fantastic week. I think you had. Did you have winning days? All six? Did you do six? Did you do all seven days? I did. I did six because the one day, the one day, I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday. You put up your video. It came up really late. Yep. Yep. And I had a pick, but by the time it came up, I got to doing other things, or it would have been seven days. Stupid priorities in life. Yeah, but that's okay. I got tonight. So yeah, and you went Mets both took it down. Oh, very good. Yeah, I had, I had, I had the Mets as well. Yep. Um, so yeah, the uh, the New York teams ran one, two out of three for me. Well, you know, you you know, a team as good as the Royals, they're going to have to get that one there. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> Who do you root for in baseball? Being there, and the- I'm a Cubbies fan. Okay, all right, very good. Um, any chance for them next year? When it comes to the Cubs, I just don't hold my breath and just take the good and the bad because there's a lot of bad recently. Very good. Have you been to Wrigley? I have. I, that's, I'm actually from the Chicago area, so okay. Except for football, I'm a Chicago fan in all sports. And who's your who's your football team? You should know this. I'm a Steelers fan. 
Oh, that's right. That's yeah. absolutely right. I, I totally. That's why I thought you were in Pennsylvania. That's why I had the Pennsylvania. Connection. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I only feel like kind of a moron, <laughs> not a complete moron. So that's, there was there was a Pittsburgh connection. Okay. All right. Yes. Very good. Um, what are you guys going to do after Big Ben? Um, well, we just drafted one. So yeah. Who'd you, who, uh, which one did they take? Oh man, you got uh, pick it. Oh, oh, that's right. And is he going to start or is Rudolph going to start? I would imagine Trubisky might start. Oh, that's right. You got. Oh my God. Yeah, you just got a murderous row of quarterbacks. Yeah. So I mean, they brought him over. So I think I actually think it will be a competition. I can't say for sure, but what I'm thinking is Trubisky starts for a little bit, and then I don't envision him doing great. And then I think Pickett will come in and take the reins and hopefully do well with them. God, even though you're not you're not a bear train, like I can't get away from these guys. Jesus, they just sent Trubisky to my favorite. What are you doing to me? Because yeah, you, you spent the last five years thinking, well, at least I'm not a Bears fan. Well, that's terrible quarterback. And oh, right. here he comes. Here yep. he comes. All right, man. Congratulations. I will uh I'll I'll email you. We'll get some information. Get the get that shirt right out to you, buddy. Sounds um, good. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for being a loyal viewer. I, I like I said, I really meant that at the top. I couldn't think of anybody else I'd rather have on for the first show. I know you've been here since the beginning of mine and even you're one of the ones that even predate you're like, I was a journey fan before Steve Perry. That's, that's, the, that's, that's what goes on there, man. So yeah, gotcha. you're, uh, you've been a long time winner to winner. I, I appreciate it. Take care. Good luck this week. Hell, maybe we'll do this again next week, buddy. All right. Thank you. Likewise. Good to talk uh, to you. All right. You too, Chris. Take care, man. All right. Bye. Bye.